If light travels at 186,000 miles per second, does that mean darkness has a speed too? Think about it. When you switch off a light in a room, the darkness seems to instantly fill the space where light used to be. But if darkness isn't a thing like light, how fast does it actually move? Let's explore the speed of darkness, what it really means, and why darkness is just a trick of perception. The answer may make you rethink what darkness really is. Before we talk about its speed, let's clarify what darkness actually is. To put it simply, darkness isn't a thing. It's the absence of a thing you and I call light. When there's no light around, we call it darkness. But it's not like darkness is a substance or particle that moves or behaves the way light does. Light, as you probably know, is made up of photons, tiny particles that travel at an incredibly fast speed, allowing us to see things. Darkness, on the other hand, doesn't have particles. It's not made of anything at all. It's just what we perceive when there's no light. So right off the bat, we run into a problem. If darkness isn't a physical thing, how can it have a speed? Well, just because darkness isn't a substance doesn't mean we can't talk about its speed in a useful way. In fact, we can think of darkness as the absence of light moving away. So, if we look at how light behaves, we can get a clue about how darkness moves as well. To understand the speed of darkness, we need to get into how light itself works. When light travels from a source, like a flashlight or the sun, it radiates outward at 186,000 miles per second, or about 300,000 kilometers per second. This is the fastest speed possible in the universe, at least as far as we know. Now, when you turn off a light, what happens? The photons that were bouncing around the room from your light bulb suddenly stop. No more light is being emitted, so the room becomes dark. What you're actually seeing is not darkness moving in, it's the light moving away or being absorbed by the objects in the room. Essentially, darkness is just what's left behind when the light disappears. But here's where things get interesting. The absence of light, the boundary where light used to be, which treats at the same as speed light was originally traveling. So in a very real sense, the speed of darkness is tied to the speed of light. In other words, darkness moves at the speed of light. All right, so does that mean darkness really moves? Not quite. We have to be careful about how we talk about this. While it's easy to think of darkness as rushing in to fill a space when light leaves, what's really happening is the absence of light is becoming more noticeable. Think about shadows. The shadow is just the absence of light behind an object blocking that light. When you move the object, the shadow shifts, but the shadow isn't moving on its own. It's simply following the absence of light. So, just like shadows, darkness doesn't have its own movement. It's a side effect of something else leaving or being blocked. Now here's a fun twist. Under certain conditions, darkness can actually appear to move faster than light. How is that possible when light is supposed to be the fastest thing in the universe? Imagine you're in a room with a light bulb and you start to dim it gradually. As the light dims, the edges of the light around the room shrink, and the darkness appears to expand. Since the darkness is just the absence of light, it's moving as fast as the light is dimming. Under certain conditions, such as in a large-scale shadow or over a great distance, the leading edge of that darkness can seem to move faster than light. Picture a shadow being cast by a setting sun over a landscape. As the sun moves below the horizon, the shadow of a tall building or a mountain grows longer and faster across the ground. The shadow, or darkness, can stretch out faster than the speed of light. But there's no violation of physics here, because the shadow isn't an actual object moving. It's just light receding from a space, and since no physical particles are involved, the speed of that shadow isn't bound by the same rules as actual particles like photons. If we want to get even deeper into this, let's bring Einstein's theory of relativity into the conversation. According to relativity, time and space are interconnected, and the speed of light is the ultimate speed limit. But what about darkness and space? 
In the vacuum of space, where there's no atmosphere to scatter light, darkness isn't a thing. It's simply the absence of light. Space itself is filled with radiation, cosmic background noise, and energy fields. Even in the darkest regions of space, there's no true darkness, because photons from distant stars and galaxies are still zipping around, even if we can't see them with the naked eye. So in a sense, darkness in space is more like a concept than an actual physical phenomenon. But when we look at black holes, the idea of darkness takes on a new dimension. In the event horizon of a black hole, no light can escape, meaning it's the ultimate form of darkness. However, even here, darkness doesn't move. It's the gravitational field that's so intense that light can't escape. Darkness is just what we perceive when nothing, not even light, can emerge. Let's take a step back from the physical world and talk about how we perceive darkness. Human brains are wired to respond to changes in light, not darkness itself. Our eyes have specialized cells, rods, and cones that react to light and color. When there's little or no light, our rods kick in to help us navigate low-light conditions. But there's no darkness sensor in our eyes. We don't see darkness. We just register a lack of light. This is why the transition from light to dark feels like something is happening, even though darkness itself isn't moving. So, to wrap it all up, can darkness have a speed? Well, not in the traditional sense, because darkness isn't a physical entity like light. It's just the absence of light. But when light disappears, the edge of that darkness appears to move at the same speed as the light that's leaving, meaning that in a very real sense, darkness travels at the speed of light. In some situations, darkness can seem to outrun light, like imitates of shadows, but that's just a trick of perception. Ultimately, darkness is more of a concept than something that has a measurable speed of its own. So next time you flip off a light switch and watch the darkness rush in, remember, what you're seeing isn't darkness moving, it's light disappearing, and darkness is just the quiet that follows. Thanks for sticking around to explore this fascinating concept, and if your mind is now sufficiently bent, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more mind-bending content.